Hey, this is Cayman with SMB, and today we have our OBS uh, boot kit here in front of us. We're going to be doing an install video. This boot, uh, boot kit replaces the intake boot that's connected to the turbo, as well as the little wide plenum boots that you can see in there. So we're going to get taken off the cover, taken off the SMB intake kit. We're going to get both these kits replaced. This kit comes with stainless steel T-bolt clamps. Um, for the Y plenum boots, uh, do not use the T-bolt clamps unless you already have the uh, the billet inserts. Those are going to allow you to really uh, uh, clamp down without um, breaking the the plenum. So we'll set these aside since this customer doesn't have the billet inserts. So we'll use the um, existing OEM hose clamps. And uh, first up, the uh, install is just going to be removing this cover with the 14 mil. Now we're going to remove the cover, set it aside, and next we're going to actually remove the SMB intake. So this is super easy to get removed. So it's just one hose clamp. There's an 11 mil bolt right back here. And there's a little nine mil holding the front scoop on. A lot of trucks won't have the front scoop. Now with the 10 mil, we're gonna remove the bolts that are holding on to the uh, casted intake piece. So we'll get this last bolt removed. And then we'll switch over to a 5 16 Now we'll get on to the, the turbo hose clamp. Now we're going to remove the second hose clamp. And we're going to separate the boot away from the cast pipe. It's still hanging on to that green case hose underneath it. So now we're going to get our surfaces clean. Um, spray down some brake cleaner, then we'll um, install the new boot going from the turbo to the casted uh, intake pipe. Now we're going to install the SMB intake pipe. So we'll pull the cast pipe away. We'll get this pushed on to the turbo. Looks like I might have had the hose clamp just a little too tight. So now I have to put some pressure on the casted piece to get it lined up so this bolt can get started. And then you can also spin the coupler. Now with the 5 16 we're gonna get these hose clamps tightened down. Now the intake pipe is done. We're going to move over to the y, y plenum couplers. So with the 5 16 we're going to remove this clamp.
After we remove the clamp out of the way, we're going to remove the hose clamps off the boots. We'll go ahead and remove both sides. Now we have all the hose clamps loosened up. We'll see if this is enough to get the Y pipe removed. It is. So now we're going to get. So here are the boots. You can see how much oil is tracked on the inside. We're going to use some brake clean and gloss um, to clean out the other side. It would also be good if you are going to be working on the truck for longer to put some cloths inside to make sure nothing falls in to the intake. You can see the difference between the SMB and OEM. About six plies of um, reinforced silicone. Again, these are the T-bull clamps. For this customer's truck, we're going to be installing the hose clamps. So now we got the couplers pushed on with the hose clamps as well, nice, nice and loose. And now we're going to start finessing the y plenum back on. We'll take a screwdriver to get it under the lip. Oh. Now we'll get this pressed all the way in. And we're also going to make sure that this O-ring is seated. That was the O-ring that was already on the truck, nothing new. And we'll get the clamp tightened down and we'll start with then we'll go to the couplers. Now we'll tighten down these hose clamps. Now we're going to tighten the hose clamps on the passenger side. Now that everything's tight, we're going to go ahead and reinstall the engine cover as well as the intake kit. It's always a good idea to do a drive test to make sure all the couplers are tight and there's no air leaks. And uh, thanks for watching and let us know if you have any questions.